Hi guys, Olive here. In today's video, I would like to talk to you about the 12 different classic books that I am hoping to read in 2019. This will be my third year of making one of these classic lists, and I found that they're a really good tool to help me prioritize all those classic books that I've been meaning to read for a very long time. And also they've helped me fall in love with the classics in a way that I'm not sure I would have been able to without a list like this. So this list is a combination of some classics that I have been intending to read for quite some time, but also also some classics that I have felt inspired to read after reading other classics and really falling in love with them. So in no particular order, here are the 12 classics that I hope to take on in 2019. First on this list is Mansfield Park by Jane Austen. I had a few long-term goals when I first started my channel back in 2015. One of those was a desire to read all of Jane Austen's novels. And now, years later, I have finally reached the end of her catalog. This is the last Jane Austen book I have left to read. I will say, I have heard far more mixed reviews of this tale of young Fanny Price, who at age 10 is sent to live in the country with her aunt and uncle, than I have of any other of Jane Austen's novels. But of course, I will be very curious to see how this last one ends up sitting with me. The second book on my classics TBR is A Tale of Two Cities by Charles. Charles Dickens. This is a very well-known work of Charles Dickens that I surprisingly was never required to read in school. This is a historical novel set before and during the French Revolution with events happening in both London and Paris, hence the titular Two Cities. I have only read one other Dickens novel, Great Expectations, which I did enjoy, but I have no idea how I'm going to feel about this one. The next classic I'd like to read in 2019 is Daniel Deronda by George Eliot. I have read two Two other George Eliot novels, including Middlemarch, which I read this year and really, really loved. This is the only of her novels that is set during the Victorian era in which George Eliot herself lived, and it is unsurprisingly a satire of aristocratic life told through the intertwining lives of the selfish Gwendolyn Harleth and the selfless Daniel Deronda. I love the wit and complexity of her writing, so I have a really good feeling about this one. Next up, I would also like to read The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins. I read and really enjoyed The Moonstone in 2018, and so I thought it was only logical to move on to one of his other books. And this book, like The Moonstone, is considered to be one of the very first detective novels. Also like The Moonstone, this story is told through the eyes of multiple narrators, but our first narrator encounters this woman in white right at the beginning of the book, and he later discovers that she has escaped from an asylum. What follows is the mystery of who she is. This will be great to pick up when I am in the mood to read about some sleuthing. Another book that I'm looking to pick up in 2019 after being inspired by my classics reading in 2018 is The House of Mer by Edith Wharton. In early 2018, I read The Age of Innocence and was blown away by the rich, evocative language, if not entirely by the story. But I was certainly impressed enough to want to move on to this book, which tells the tale of a well-born but impoverished socialite in turn-of-the-century New York who descends from privilege into the margins of society really looking forward to this one. The next classic book I would like to read in 2019 is Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. When I went to go visit my good friend Steve Donahue in Boston earlier this year, I was rightfully chastised when I revealed that I had never read Little Women before. It has always felt like a gap in my reading that I will be more than happy to close this year by getting to know the March sisters, Meg, Beth, Joe, and Amy, as they go from childhood to womanhood. I seem to have a thing for a good satire because I would also like to read Vanity Fair by William Thackeray. This book follows two very opposite young women, Becky Sharp and Emma Sedley, as well as their family and friends, during and after the Napoleonic Wars. This is another one of those books that I feel odd that I haven't read yet, so hopefully I will rectify that in 2019. In 2019, you will also see me continue on my quest to read all of the Bronte novels. This year I'm going to be taking on Agnes Grey by the much overlooked Anne Bronte. In 2017, I read and was really impressed by The Tenet of Wildfell Hall, so I am looking forward to reading Anne's other novel, which is unsurprisingly about a governess. 
Besides Wuthering Heights, I have enjoyed all of the Bronte novels that I have read, so I assume this will be no different. Another one that I am planning to read in 2019 that I am highly confident I'm going to enjoy is Sylvia's Lovers by Elizabeth Gaskell. The two previous works that I have read of Gaskell's, Wives and Daughters and North and South, I now count among my favorite books of all time. So suffice it to say, this is the one I am looking forward to most off this list. I have heard both Katie from Books and Things and Kate Howe, two of our Victorian experts here on Booktube, speak highly of this story of the sad love affairs of our heroine Sylvia. Despite this one sounding really melancholy, I am sure I am going to love this. The 10th classic that I would like to read this year is Evelina by Fanny Burney. A long time ago, there was a Booktuber who I absolutely adored, but who is sadly no longer making videos, Ron Litt. I distinctly remember her raving about this story of a legitimate yet unacknowledged daughter of an aristocrat who is introduced to society for the first time at age 17. According to her, this makes for a hysterically funny satire of society since Evelina wasn't raised around any of these social niceties, so she doesn't understand how nonsensical they are. I am really looking forward to finally reading this off of Ronnie's recommendation. I just really wish she would come back to booktube. I am also planning to read The Essential Tales of Chekhov. I have made no secret of the fact that I have been really struggling to enjoy any of the Russian literature that I've been picking up. However, I have both read and in some cases translated into English some of the stories from this collection when I was in college. So I think that my chances of enjoying this are pretty good. And the last classic that I am hoping to get to in 2019 is Silent Spring by Rachel Carson. In my October 2018 TBR, I mentioned that I was doubling up on my classics picks because I wanted to give my entire reading month in November over to nonfiction as I normally do. And all of the books on my classics TBR or fiction. Someone in the comment section of that video asked me why I don't include a nonfiction selection on this classics TBR so that I can still be reading a classic while I am participating and hosting nonfiction November. That made me wonder, why haven't I been doing this all along? So while I'm not quite sure in what months I'm going to be reading any of the rest of these, I know that I am going to be reading Carson's classic environmental book during nonfiction November. So those are all of the classic books that I am hoping to read during the upcoming year. I would love to hear from you if you've read any of these books, if you've heard of them, or if you're now interested in reading them after hearing me talk about them. You can put that or any other general comments or questions you may have in the comment section below. Or if you'd prefer to chat with me somewhere other than YouTube, I am on a variety of different places on social media and the links to all of my profiles are linked in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I will see you in the next video. Bye.